Greetings all! My name is Jakub Machowski. I'm the level and art designer for the upcoming indie game, The Memes Beginning. In the following material I'd like to cover certain interesting features of the game that are perhaps not immediately apparent. The Memes, as some of you might be aware, offers a blend of good like, RTS and adventure game elements. The game underwent incredible change in the past six months of its development. There are now mythical beasts to be encountered, cryptic monoliths to be discovered, and cities of yore to be explored, all slattered with a dose of stylized sci-fi elements in form of memes uncanny technology and spaceship design. I will play through a small fragment of a mission while discussing in detail some of the game's more unique features, such as natural disasters. But first things first. The fragment begins with memes scattered across floating islands as their interplanetary freighter drifts in outer space, frequently coming across the much coveted floatsum of their derelict spaceship. We soon find out that the black hole that form in this area is not a mere coincidence, but more about it in due time. <laughs> Part of the meme's charm lies in exploring its fanciful world. So, we are tasked with finding a way to cover the black hole, which draws negative energy that imbues memes with feelings of deep dejection, causing them to jump off the cliff into their untimely deaths. To make matters more complicated, we are responsible for their mental well-being and keeping them in high spirits. As we begin our gameplay, I would like to draw your attention to the odometer. The more pungent the smell exuded by our colony, the more likely we are to attract unwelcome guests. We should check for information about predators and parasites that prowl the area, as well as the strength of the wind that sweeps the island. It is paramount to plan out our colony in such a way as to maximize the benefits offered by the island's conditions without breaking its natural equilibrium, something that could produce catastrophic result for the player. I have touched on different game elements in our previous tilers. Instead, I'd like to talk about the introduction of real-time physics. The fauna and flora found on our island is subject to forces of gravity, friction and kinetic forces. At this point in time, some of you might be scratching their heads saying Wait a minute, physics in a strategy game? Let me illustrate with an example. When planting a seedling, we need to take into account how a fruit can bounce off a building and land in a designated space. Conversely, when using psionic powers, we need to be careful not to sling our minions of an island's cliff. Another noteworthy feature are natural disasters. On the bottom part of screen we can see a timeline. Upon developing a special technology in the Science Center, we'll be able to uncover what future events await us. And apparently, it doesn't bode well. The disasters are frequent and have a multitude of random effects. This means that no single adventure will follow the same scenario with different disasters affecting our second playthrough. For example, in a moment, our village will be overwhelmed by chaos because an earthquake is coming. It is time to send our minions far away from buildings about to collapse. 
The earthquake has destroyed one of our buildings. After such an accident, we need to revise our plans and strategy in order to redress the situation. However, on a second playthrough the earthquake may attack another structure, leaving us scrambling for a different strategy. Likewise, the meteor hit random areas so during one event it can destroy our minions, while on another occasion it can crash into our plantations. Meteor showers Acid rain Tornadoes and other cataclysm will turn managing a village into a changing task and could require different course of action on each playthrough. But should we just stay put and do nothing, while our village is turning into ruin? We also implemented a random system of global powers, belonging to different categories. It means that, for an instance, after meteors demolish our buildings and set our minions afire, we can summon specific group of global powers, such as fire, smoothering rainstorm or a different kind to offset the cataclysm economically. Sometimes the way of achieving the mission's goal, emerging from difficulties or completing side missions, will require precise observation, creativity and the ability to recognize signs or symbols scattered on an island. That is why exploration is often an essential element of the game. I hope that you found this overview engaging. The game will soon be made available on Steam Early Access. So let me take this opportunity to invite you to follow the work of our little team and take part in creating The Mims Beginning, a godlike game of great many adventures.